Hi guys, welcome to this MySQL beginner's tutorial and in these tutorials I will be teaching you the basics of MySQL like creating a database, reading from a database, updating a database and deleting a database. And for this purpose I will be using only MySQL command line. So for those of you who use phpMyAdmin, uh, I will be uploading some more videos on how to use phpMyAdmin at a later time. But for now I will be using only MySQL command line. So let's get started. First of all, I want you to browse through to your folder where you have installed MySQL. I have it installed inside my D drive. So I'll go to my computer, go to my D drive, my program files, and I have installed XAMPP. So my MySQL is installed inside XAMPP. So I'll go inside, and here inside there is a folder named MySQL. And whatever applications of MySQL I have, I have it inside my bin folder. So while using MySQL command line to connect with MySQL database, I have to browse through to my bin folder and then connect to my database. So just go ahead and open up your command prompt. I'll type in cmd. And inside here, I'll do just cd slash to return to my root folder and I'll here change my drive to D so I'll type D colon and enter and inside here I will go to program files and inside here I'll go to XMPP then to MySQL then to bin So inside my bin folder I have all my applications of MySQL and now I will connect to my MySQL database. So now just pay attention how to connect to a MySQL database. You have to write MySQL. If you have installed any packages containing MySQL with all the default settings then your username will be root and your password will be nothing. So here you have to use your username and password to connect with the database first. So you have to write MySQL then minus U and you have to type in username. So your username will be root by default and minus password. Password is nothing so I will just leave it. Then you have to type in minus hostname. In our case hostname is 127.0 point zero point one now I will type in enter and here it will ask me to enter password I don't have a password so I'll just press enter and it says welcome to MySQL monitor so we are now connected to MySQL database now whatever operations we want to perform in MySQL database we can perform so first of all a MySQL consists of a series of databases so First of all what we will do is ask MySQL to show whatever databases it already has. So I will write show databases and every command in MySQL is ended with a semicolon. So you have to write semicolon at the end then press enter. So it shows that I already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 databases inside my MySQL. Now we want to create a new database so I'll just write create database and I'll name my database as user login and press semicolon and press enter so it says query ok and now our database is created now we have to go into that database so we'll write use user login now it says database changed so we are inside user login now so whatever operations we do now it will clearly be reflected inside user login now I want to tell you something every database in MySQL consists of a series of tables and each table consists of rows and columns so we can say that a database is nothing but a series of tables which stores some information so we'll see first if user login contains any tables so I'll write so tables 
and it says empty set means there are no tables present because we haven't entered any table so we have to create a table first so I'll just create a table C R E A T E create table and I will name my table as user now I have to determine what parameters my table will have so we'll here just pause for a minute and think about it so I'll go ahead and open up my notepad plus plus and we can sketch out whatever parameters we'll have first of all we'll have a ID and then second parameter will be username and third parameter will be password and fourth parameter suppose we'll have email so these are the four different parameters with which we'll create our table so I'll now just close it and we'll start by putting first parameter which will be ID and it will be an integer having 11 digits it will be close to 10 billion so it will be enough it will be unsigned it will be auto increment means automatically it will increase and it will be our primary key and it will not be null our second parameter is username it will be a varchar suppose the limit is 25 characters and it will be not null again suppose next parameter is password it will be a varchar also and our limit is 25 it will also be not null and again last is email and it will be a varchar also it will be suppose 40 and it will also be not null now I'll end my bracket press semicolon and press enter it says query ok zero rows affected it means our table got created now we can see the table by typing in so tables so it says there is a table in our database which is named as user and we can see the details of table by typing in describe table so I describe user so here it comes our ID is an integer of 11 digit it is an unsigned integer it will not be null and it is a primary key and it is auto increment username is varchar of limit 25 characters password is varchar of limit 25 characters email is varchar of 40 characters this is a empty table having no data at all only the parameters now in the next tutorial we will enter the data into this table